Hey, how's it going? I'm Landon. Welcome to my channel. This, this is a big video. This is a big one. This is a cool one too. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you're not new to my channel, you know I'm really big into Telecasters. You know I'm big into uh, modding, like installing pickups and different wiring kits and stuff like that. So recently I did a, a sponsored video by Sweetwater and uh, when I was chatting with them, they said, hey, how about this thing? Would you be, be interested in checking out this thing? And I'd never heard of it. So this is another Sweetwater sponsored giveaway. And uh, this video is three things actually. It's an installation, a demo, and then a giveaway. So what are we, what are we giving away? We're giving away this. It's the Fishman Fluence Greg Cock Gristletone pickup set. It's a multi-voice pickups for electric guitar. And uh, it's a drop-in wiring kit and pickups. And it, it's really cool. It's really cool. And so yeah, like I said, I'd, I'd never actually heard of this before. I can't know everything. There's just there's just too much out there. I get to keep this one, but somebody else is gonna get one as well. So we're gonna enter a contest. I'll get into that in a minute. Everything is gonna be timestamped. This video is gonna be really big and huge, and uh, I find the timestamps really help. So if you're looking for the section about the, the giveaway, you can go to that. If you're looking for how to do the installation, go to that. If you're looking for how it sounds, go to that. That's the whole point of timestamps. I love timestamps. Have I mentioned I like timestamps a little bit? Okay, so that is the giveaway. And maybe you're also asking, well, who is Greg Cock? Who is that guy? Who's Greg? I don't know, Greg. Let's find out. So this is Greg. This is the actual image you will see on gregcock.com. So rather than try to reinvent the Greg Cock, why don't I just read exactly what Fishman says about him? An unsung guitar hero from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where he grew up just a few miles from the Waukesha, birthplace of the late great guitarist inventor Les Paul. Greg Koch has established himself within six string circles as a masterful technician, accomplished clinician, and general badass git picker. As a leader of various bands bearing his name, Greg has toured the world, bringing the gristle to the people. He continues to channel all the right people in his most recent collection of blues, funk, and R&B, including Jimi Hendrix, Albert King, Albert Collins, Jeff Beck, Roy Buchanan, with the touches of Stevie Ray Vaughan, Danny Gatton, and Richie Blackmore thrown in for good measure. And he filters all those killer influences through his own slightly bent prism that is tinted with grunge, gristle, and good, clean fun. So there we go. That's who Greg is. You know who Greg is now. Greg, you and Greg are, are tight. You guys know each other now. Let's get this thing installed and we'll play it. Then we'll talk about how we're gonna do the giveaway. All right, first things first, not first things last, first things first, let's pick a guitar. You can pick a guitar, you can pick your friend's guitar, you can pick, I don't know how that saying goes. Okay, I'm not gonna do the Esquire because I don't wanna add a pickup. Then it's not an Esquire anymore. I don't wanna do, I like those Twisted Telly pickups. These guitars are all fine. I don't wanna mod that thing. I just did that one. So we're doing this one. Oh my God, I can't even focus. I'm so excited. We're gonna do the Purple Telly. Purple Telly that's got like 64, I forget the exact model number, but you'll you'll see it in the, uh, the part where I pull the pickups out. That's the guitar that's gonna get the installation. Okay, we did the quick unboxing at the beginning, but let's do another one here. We'll actually look at each part and see exactly what you get in the pack. So here it is, close up, talking about the two voices. It's really, really nice packaging. I gotta say, products these days, man, they make packages just amazing. Okay, taking out some foam. It's, it's really well packaged, it's all protected. Here's a close-up of the control panel. Control plate, controls, it's the controller. It's like a computer. Here's the neck pickup. Here's some specs, you can go to Fishman if you wanna see them closer up. I just wanted to briefly show them for a second. They call it treble and rhythm pickup, right? So here they are, different magnets in each one. And here's the output jack. It looks like a mouth with eyes, like a robot. It's basically a robot and you've got a ground wire if you need it. So let's put it all back so we can take it back out and do this all over again. All right, we're gonna get into it in just a second, but I just wanted to give one more shout out to Sweetwater and just mention a couple of things that they let me know about. They have a guitar workshop. If you wanna find out more about that, I'll have links to it in the description. They also have a Plex setup, Plex Pro. So you can get your guitar set up with the Plex machine. And that's not the focus of this video. If you wanna know more about those two features that Sweetwater offers, take a look in the description. I'll have links to everything. And now back to the show. There we go. That's that's enough just showing stuff. Let's actually get into the nitty gritty. Let's do the work. So I'm gonna loosen the strings here. I'm just gonna keep these strings on because I've got the vintage style tuners so I can take the strings off and reuse them later. So let's start by taking, taking out the existing hardware that's in here. 
happened to have like a, an obsidian wire kit, so I took out the control plate, taking out the output jack, getting rid of all that stuff, taking the pick guard off. I'm not that fast in real life, just wanted to mention that. This is sped up. It's like special technology uh, video editing crazy stuff. It's too hard to explain. So let's get the pickups out of here, let's get the neck pickup off. And uh, this is what it is. It, I showed it in, again in a second. It's a Fender 64 vintage, I believe. 64 or 67. Those were two good years. I don't remember anything about them. I wasn't around. So taking the screws out to get the bridge out. And you can see under the bridge downtown. Sorry, I had to do that. Under the bridge here, in a second you'll see it. There is a ground wire, and that's going to connect to the bridge, and that's going to connect to the wiring later. So here we go. Putting it away, making it nice and clean. I like these cases that it comes in. Does it say on it what it is? 64 telly. Like like I said. I said that. That's what I said. Okay, just cleaning up here a little bit and we're going to start. Um, they do mention it on the box. It doesn't come with knobs and it doesn't come with the switch cap or hat. Whatever you want to call it. You can call it whatever you want. Just don't call it late for dinner. I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, here we go. They say, there we go. Switch cap. Top hat switch cap. It's like a tongue twister. Here's all the parts. It comes with all the hardware you need. It comes with the screws. It comes with the rubber tubing, which acts as like springs. I like that better than springs. That's just my personal opinion. It's getting it all sorted out here. And we're going to take again, take again a look again. Why don't I just say that again? I'm leaving that in. That's too good. We're going to take a closer look. I know we've already done this, but let's get really close up. Let's get close up and personal. Here's the neck pickup. You know what? I'm doing this because... I figured someday there's going to be somebody that's having an emergency guitar situation. And they're going to be like, man, I wish there was close-ups of those pieces from that guitar thing. And, and now it's here. It's here for history. This is, it's always going to be here. And I hope you appreciate that. At least I would. So there you go. Let's get going now. Here's the uh, wiring diagram. Kind of confused me at first. And the thing that confused me is you're not actually soldering anything onto the control switch. There's a little plate. Well, sh I'll show it. You'll see it. There's a little PCB board. That's where the wires are going. Right there. See, I knew I was going to show it. So yeah, it's going on to that. And uh, it's labeled really well. It's got neck in, ground, bridge in, and ground. So you can't screw it up unless you can't see it, you know. So if you're uncomfortable doing this on your own, just hire somebody. Honestly, just don't even, don't even try. Um, you do have to have some soldering skills. You do need to be able to read instructions and do some basic tasks. And it's not for everybody. I know people just want to play guitar and have fun. So here we go. We're putting the neck pickup on. Just installs very easily here. You can see with the two little rubber tubings and the screws. They give you the option. They give the screws for if you wanted to install it in the pick guard. Or here's, here's what I was going to say into the body that's also an option okay moving on next is the bridge pickup and if i said bridge pickup and neck pickup and i said the wrong word that's just because i screw up i screw things up all the time i screw up words words are not my thing they're just things here we go bridge pickup install same idea three screws three rubber tubes and adjust the height to taste there's no right or wrong you could have it as low or high as you want it's all up to you. You can you can do anything you want at this point. So here we go. Just some fine tuning. And next, look at that. That's going to be an issue. We're going to get rid of that. That's a little bracket inside the output jack, output jack hole cup thing. I don't know the right word. But anyways, there we go. Pulling it out because we need to stick this whole output jack in, and it needs all the space. It doesn't need a little bracket to hold itself in. It's going to be installed. With two screws and I chose to do the hole the output jack hole on the top some people can do it on the bottom I don't think it matters it's whatever you want and again do what you want it's this is a custom install and I've made it myself I just liked it because it looks like a mouth and two eyes and like a robot face I thought that was cooler so now I've got a robot face purple telly and there you go there's a USB cable plug it in and here's the other side of it all right, next. We're gonna start with some wiring. I'm just gonna warn you, I make a major mistake at one point here. See if you can point it out before I mention it. I will mention it because I show the correction 
I always think it's good to show mistakes. I make a mistake every time I do an installation. So here we go, here's the, here's the wires, the ground, and uh, the hot. Just move my table around here to get a better angle. Okay, we're gonna start here. This is the ground wire I was talking about. It's already installed. You can put one in, but you want this to touch the bridge, basically, at one point. So that's the first one we're gonna do. Come on, can you zoom in? There we go, a little bit better. So yeah, I definitely don't have expertise in soldering, but I think I did okay here. You can see my hand's really shaky. If you have really shaky hands, don't try to do this. So there we go. Now I'm putting in the first pickup and uh, trying to do a little, as little solder as possible. I think I got it there. Did I get it? I got it. First try. First try. Okay, here we go. Do the second one. I'm just getting the wire through the other side. I think this is the best one I do. Boom. Look at that. I was proud of myself there. One try. And uh, there's not much room, so that's what I'm saying. If you guys shaky hands, don't don't try this. You don't want to try this at home. Don't try this at home unless you can try this at home and, and do a good job. Getting the second pickup through here. I believe that's the bridge pickup. I can't see right now. The parts are so small. But um, here we go. It is it is the no. That is the neck pickup. I know because you, I've already made the mistake. But you can't tell from this angle. But uh, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, you you won't even know what the mistake was. I'll show you in a second here. So almost had it. Got it. Here we go. Boom. Got it. Nice. Here we go. And here's the uh, the output jack. It connects. It's like a Molex connector, I believe they're called. It's like a computer type connector. Kind of like something that used to be on like a floppy disk drive. Anyways, um, so that's what happened to all the floppy disk drives. They use them in these things. Here we go. Everything's set up, right? Everything's good. We're ready to go. A couple issues I found, but I'll show you. And it's nothing to do with the product. It's uh, my guitar that I'm using. So here we go. Just testing things out. A couple of times I will test the uh, the wiring to make sure it's good before I put it away. Actually, I'm doing it right now. I couldn't really tell from the angle. I'm doing a tap test. Yeah, you're hearing it. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Tap, tap. There we go. Here's the problem. Look at the wire. Look at the wire to the neck pickup. I didn't route it through. I'm so angry. I'm going to shake my hands. That's my anger sign. So anyways, I'm, uh, I am I got to do redo those two leads. Super annoying, but I, I was going to cut this part out, but I'm like, no, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Okay, take them out, run the cable through. Not showing that, but I'm just going to run the cable through. Make sure you got your cable run through the neck pocket or whatever they call it, the little tunnel there. So I'm going to redo this one here. And uh, yeah, you know, things happen. So redoing it there. It's probably not as nice the second time because it's got a little bit more solder. And um, people say solder or solder. I get complaints about that all the time. Here's the other issue. Look at the cavity they made. This is a Squire body. It's a Squire classic vibe. Um, that's not gonna fit. So luckily this body is made out of poplar and I just chipped it, chipped it away. Chips ahoy, there we go. I just took a chisel and a hammer and I cut it away. And uh, you can do that if you want. You might not run into this problem. All depends on your guitar. I'm sure this wouldn't have been an issue if this had been a standard Fender body. But uh, here we go again. Another tap test, just make sure everything's good. And we're putting it all back together, all nice and clean. And uh, here's the, the top hat, switch tip, and then the knobs. And we're done. And I'm done. And then we're going to hear it. And then we're going to talk about the giveaway. So I'm just going to stop for now.
Okay, there you go. What'd you think of that? I think it sounds awesome. I've had some time to play around with it now after installing it and uh, really impressed. And I'll, I'll talk about my um, pros and cons and I'll do like a summary after. Let's talk about the giveaway, how, how it works. This one's a little bit different. I know some people are, some people are gonna complain. There's always gonna be some whiners and complainers. So here's how you enter. Subscribe to my channel. This channel, Landon Bailey, subscribe. That's one. Uh, second one, leave a comment. What Telecaster would you install these in? If you won this, what, what would you put it in? You know, it doesn't matter. Just what would you put it in? Maybe you gotta buy a Telecaster to put it in. Maybe you're gonna do a parts caster and put it in. That, that'd be a great project, I think. Building, uh, doing a whole build and putting these in it, be awesome. I'd recommend that. So there you go, subscribe, comment on this video. Leave a comment on this video. I say this every time. This video, don't comment on other posts about this video. If somebody shared this video, don't comment on that chair, you know what I mean? Can I make it any more clear? Can I be more clear? I don't think so. Here's the thing that people are gonna probably complain about. This one is USA only. So if you have to live in the US, and the reasoning is Sweetwater is gonna be actually sending it to you directly, rather than me mailing it out like I did in uh, previous. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. USA resident need to be from the United States of America. I'm not from the United States of America. I just wanted to point that out. I'm from Canada, but that's our neighbors to the South. And uh, Sweetwater has been super awesome to sponsor me for a couple of videos by providing the gear. And uh, this one's just a little bit different. So there you go. I hope that was clear. Let's talk about, let's talk about the, uh, my actual experience with this, like a summary pros and cons, um, sort of a review, I guess. Let's talk about the pros first of all. Uh, I was really impressed by the build quality, the packaging, how it was all presented, really, really nice. The tones I got out of it were really great. I like to have, I like the, uh, the second voice and they call it the Blackguard, fat and punchy. And that's where you do the push button and that's where the active sound kicks in. And yeah, it's a different tone for sure. It's just, it's, it seems to give it like a, a boost. They're super quiet. The pickups are definitely super quiet. You don't have the typical noise that you get with single coils. And I think that's something to do with the Fishman Fluence technology, the way the pickups are assembled. Now, here's the one con. This is dependent on you and your personal skills. I'd say this is an advanced install because of the soldering that was required. And even my hands were shaky doing it. And you saw you saw in the installation, I didn't hide my mistakes. I made, I made a mistake and uh, I corrected it, but things like that happen, right? So maybe if you're looking at getting this or if you're, if you're looking at uh, hopefully winning it, if you don't have the experience installing something like this, you might want to get somebody else to do it for you. Or this, you know, maybe this is your first time and you want to learn. And uh, you gotta learn somehow. I don't know. Again, everything's timestamped. You know what? Even me talking about the timestamps will be timestamped. Huge thanks again to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. All right, the way it's gonna work, enter the contest, check back in about a week. I'll have another video, a follow-up video to announce the winner. That's how I do it. So good luck to everybody. Uh, in the meantime, check out the uh, the walkthrough and the installation. It's really cool. It's uh, it's a lot of work. It wasn't super simple to install, but it was fun. It's a good project. If you're interested in buying one of these, in the meantime, I'll have affiliate links to Sweetwater. You can check that out and see see if it's something you want to get. Be sure to check back soon to see if you're the winner. And again, as always, play guitar and have fun. No, that's not how I say it. All right. <laughs> again, I'm Landon. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.